yes, thank you for my career. <laughs> To you lot. I love watching you lot shuffle in all the different ways. You can spot the English and the Scots people when we're coming to a gig. Even though we're about to have fun, heads down, don't look up, don't look to the side. The most we risk on these islands is a side look, isn't it, on the way in? We'll have a side look on the way into the theatre side. Not like the Brazilian people walking in. I look around me as I walk in. I take everyone in. I do a capoeira. My scrotum's fallen out. It's not a problem. <laughs> not us, the Scots and the English side looking as we walk. Have you ever been side looked by the person you're side looking? It's like getting an electric shock. You look up like that, they look at you. I've been side-looked by the side-looker. <laughs> we like keeping it small. Even at a comedy gig, the audience laughs and then back to normal, prove yourself again, Jester. Ah. <laughs> we don't move our mouth. Has anyone in this room ever tried to learn, I don't know, Spanish or Italian or Portuguese? Anyone? The thing, we, we struggle. We're so self-conscious in the first lessons because we don't move our mouths. Buenos dias. Look how a Spanish person speaks. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> This is an English person. Good morning. Carol, good morning. Good morning, Carol. Buenos dias. <laughs> a Spanish person declaring their love. Te quiero. Look at that. A Spanish man will break his own jaw if he's in love enough. Te quiero. I love you so much. My jaw is broken. <laughs> What's an English man? Carol, I love you. Carol, I love you. It's an English person having sex. Sorry, sorry, I love you. Sorry, sorry, I love you. Sorry, sorry. Move my daily telegraph. I love you. Scott, you're slightly better at it than us, but come on. That's the one thing that bloody unifies these islands. We love keeping ourselves to ourselves with our little picket fence. We don't let anything too different to happen. That's why we don't make holiday friends. Any of you in the room that enjoy making holiday friends, you are not typical Scots or English. Tear up your passport. We don't like, think of the last time. Hey, it's Mark and Carol from yesterday. Oh, piss off, you tossers. Hey! Hey! It's the people that befriended us by the poor bricks. Come over. Hey, my name's Mark. I'm from Surrey. I thought we'd come to every meal you. What, without your teeth? Prick. <laughs> Anyone not laughing at that? You are those tossers. <laughs> you shouldn't even be speaking to the people you're on holiday with. <laughs> we like it. You know one of the, the, the things I really admire? It's a little test you can do, how small you are. It's not even a British thing. It's how good you are at becoming toddler-like at night and having that baby sleep. How many people in the room? There'll be people in this room that do inspiring jobs. Our social workers, our teachers, our policemen, our nurses. Real jobs, unlike me. Yet you can come in, no matter what lives you've changed, no matter what life you've created, who you've expelled, who you've locked up, you get in that bed and you sleep like an angel. You bastards, right? <laughs> the other half of the room, you're with me. Who needs perfect conditions for sleep? Yeah, who are you? Give me a cheer. Blackout curtains, perfect mattress. I've heard a pin drop. Oh no, I'm going to think about Egypt till 5 a.m. Oh no, what about Cairo? Oh no. Horrible. Now, be honest here. Those of you that need perfect conditions for sleep, like me, are you sat next to someone? Are you in a relationship with the other freaking type? Yeah? We spent our whole lives listening to your blissful freaking breathing. Now, hey, I've had such a stressful day at work, I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> Bastards. Yeah. I didn't even hear the storm. Really? Keep going on about it, Dick. You're really helping with the problem. Arseholes. They don't even recline their seat. I'm driving from Essex to Edinburgh. You have the seat, babe. Recline it. No need. <laughs> Who doesn't recline their seat? Just a useless bobbing head with a string of dribble like that. Oh, we in Edinburgh. Yeah, I went so quickly. Did it, Dick? I bet it did. Unbelievable. I'm just going to get asleep. There's no bed over there. How are you going to sleep? It's okay, there's a spike and some fiberglass. <laughs> You're the same freaks that don't get up for a wee during the night. <laughs> How'd you do it? How'd you do it, non weird I do nothing. Just a thimble of Horlicks at 3 p.m. Like, <laughs> 2 a.m. jet appears, 4 a.m. jet appears, 6 a.m. jet appears. Think about Egypt, day ruined. That's me. <laughs> This is my partner, Lindsay. I have five pints of Ribena. It's bedtime. <laughs> Ten hours sleep, power piss. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Caledonia, thank you very much. I've been an Englishman. Good night.